All right, in this video I'm going to go through a few examples where we're just using uh, the, the, the regular trig functions um, to solve some questions here. So the first one says solve the right triangle in which alpha is equal to 30 degrees and side C is equal to 6. So this is C here. And um, how, what it means to solve a triangle, it means to find all the angles and find all the sides. So a triangle has three angles, three sides, so we want to find six values here. So I'm going to call uh, this angle C down here. So I have alpha is 30 degrees, beta, I don't know that, C is 90 degrees. And then I have side A, side B, and side C. And I, I already know side C, that's six. So my suggestion to keep yourself organized would be to draw this little table here, just so we know what we have and what we need to find. Okay, so there's a few different ways we can probably go about this. Um, let's see, um, uh, how about I find um, side A first? So if I'm trying to find side A, you, we wanna think, well, is there a trig function that relates side A here with this angle and this other given side. So if I'm looking at angle 30, that or angle alpha, which is 30 degrees, side A is the opposite, and then I have the hypotenuse. So I need a trig function that deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse, and that is sine. Sine of alpha is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse here. So alpha is 30 degrees, so sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is A over 6. So to solve this, <coughs> I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. I have 6 sine of 30 degrees, and that is equal to A. On your calculator, you can just type this in, 6 sine of 30. Now make sure that your calculator is in um, degree mode here. If you don't know how to do that, um, I'm not going to go over that in this video, um, but um, you can double check on your calculator to make sure you're in degree mode. And then you can hit enter, and so we get an A value of 3 here. Um, angle beta is pretty easy because all the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So if I already have 90 and 30, that means there's 60 degrees left over right here. And then side B, uh, well, at this point, once I have two sides, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So this will be 3 squared plus B squared is equal to 6 squared. So I get 9 plus B squared is equal to 36 b squared is equal to 27, so b is equal to square root 27 or 3 square root 3. And you don't necessarily need to simplify the radical to get 3 root 3, but um, I don't know, it's kind of nice to do it, it looks a little bit cleaner. Alright, so that's that example. Moving on, let's check this one out. It says, to find the height of a tree, a person walks to a point 30 feet from the base of the tree. She measures an angle of 57 degrees between a line of sight to the top of the tree and the ground, as shown below. Find the height of the tree. So what we're trying to find is this height right here. Now this makes a right triangle. Um, I guess we are assuming that that tree is perfectly upright. But if that's the case, we can use a trig ratio here. So I have this angle, 50. 57 degrees, I have the opposite, or I want to know the opposite side, and I have the adjacent. So the trig function that relates the opposite um, and the adjacent is tangent. Okay, so all we do is we say tangent. Remember, the angle always goes inside the trig function, and then I'm going to, let's just name that x over 30. Okay, so to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 30. So 30 tangent times 57 degrees is equal to x. And when I do that, I get an x value of 14.54 feet. 
Okay, and then we have one more here. Um, it says a support wire of length 108 meters runs from the top of an antenna to the ground. If the angle of elevation of the antenna with the ground is 42.3 degrees, what is the height of the antenna? All right, so in this case, I have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So again, opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to say sine of 42.3 degrees is equal to the opposite over 108. Multiply both sides by 108. And then just type that in the calculator. So 108 times sine 42.3 degrees is 72.69, let's call it. Oh, and this is meters, not feet.